I noticed some of you just flinched just now. As everybody usually does when this heartbreaking Amber Alert pops up on anyone's phone. There's a hashtag going around social media called every 90 seconds. It is believed a child goes missing every 90 seconds. And by having this on social media, it is hoped that we can help raise awareness of missing children. Amber Alert is one of many techniques used widely across the United States in the hopes of returning missing children. So looking at Amber Alert today, we're gonna see why it was started, if there are any guidelines, and how effective it's been. According to NBC News, Amber Alert stands for America's Missing Broadcast Emergency Response, and is also in legacy to nine-year-old Amber Hagerman. January 13th, 1996, in Arlington, Texas, nine-year-old Amber Hagerman was riding her bike at a local grocery store. She was seen taken by a man in a blue truck. This case went widespread news and five days later, a local dog walker found Amber's body in the creek close to the store. Her throat had been slit. The case remains unsolved to this day. Around the same year, Dallas Fort Worth broadcasters teamed with local police for a way to come up with a system to warn people about missing children. This became known as Amber Alert. So now that we know a little bit about Amber Alert, are there any steps in order to becoming an Amber Alert? And if so, what are they? There are five steps. The first one being law enforcement has to confirm an abduction. This means that law enforcement has to have enough probable cause to agree that a child has gone missing. The second step is serious bodily injury or death. Law enforcement has to believe that the child is in imminent danger of serious bodily injury or ultimately death. The third is sufficient descriptive information. This is where key ele elements like the child's name and where she or he was taken from will occur. The fourth is the age of the child. Across the United States, a child is considered anyone from the ages 0 to 17. The last and final step is the NCIC data entry. This is where all critical elements, like the child's name and the abduction flag, which is where the child is taken from, will occur in the National Crime Information Center, which is also known as the NCIC. So now that we know the steps of Amber Alert, how effective has Amber Alert been? According to Upworthy.com, for six-year-old Chloe Donahue, Amber Alert worked greatly in her favor. Chloe was taken from her bed in the middle of the night by a family friend. The Amber Alert went out right away, and luckily for Chloe, a local store clerk at a gas station recognized this man and called law enforcement right away. He gave them more descriptive information on the vehicle that took Chloe, and 300 miles from Chloe's home, state troopers pulled over this vehicle and took the man into custody. Chloe is brought home safely. So there are successful stories, but we can't forget about the unsuccessful ones as well. Coming from an Indianapolis news station, Monty and Colin Walker unfortunately don't have the best case coming from Amber Alert. Amber Alert didn't work fast enough in their case. Four-year-old Colin and two-year-old Monty Walker were taken from their grandparents' home at Knife Point by their father, Katron Walker. Katron Walker took them to a lake and placed them in an abandoned trailer. The Amber Alert didn't go out till four hours later, and by the time police finally arrived on scene, Katron Walker ran out of the trailer with both boys under his arm and jumped into the lake. Police searched the water. They found four-year-old Colin's body. He had died from stab wounds to the chest. They also found two-year-old Colin. He had heard Monty. He had stab wounds as well, but luckily for him, he was sent to recover and lived through it. So they're both unsuccessful and successful stories. But the most important part is how many kids are being saved each year. And according to AmberAlert.gov statistics, in 2015, 800 children were rescued and recovered 
due to Amber Alert. Another thing Amber Alert has done is served as a deterrent. So in some cases, when somebody has abducted children and they get the Amber Alert, they get so scared that they drop the children off because this Amber Alert freaks them out. So to recap a little bit about Amber Alert, we looked at the background of why it's important. We saw the five steps in order to becoming an Amber Alert. And lastly, we looked at how effective Amber Alert has been. Unfortunately, in the time I've been talking to you all, it's possible three to four children could have gone missing. It's important to remember the hashtag every 90 seconds. And in the hopes of this, we hope that we can save more missing children. And if you have any information on any Amber Alert or any missing child, don't be afraid to call Amber Alert's hotline number. Thank you.